Hello, my name is Ross Hammond and I am a stand-up comedian, but in addition to not knowing that or anything else about me, I bet you didn't know that I am a huge fan of board games. I can no longer convince any of my rat bastard friends to play them with me, but I thought maybe I could convince you to play board games, like just in general, not to come over to not to play board games with me because that would be sad and I don't want strangers in my house you understand whoa an angle change ambitious much not really it's it's not very visually interesting basically you were over there now you're over here what I'm not going to do is review games I'm not a journalist, I'm just a fan, and I don't have the skills to do the in-depth dive that I think a review requires. Basically, if I'm making a video about a game, you can just assume that I think that it's good. I'm also not going to be doing an in-depth teach on any of these games. For one thing, the manuals are in the box, and for another, there are already a ton of people online who are doing in-depth video explanations on how to play individual games, and they're doing it very well. What I am going to do with these videos is attempt to explain what is awesome about an individual game, and what kind of fun you can expect out of it, and from there my hope is that you can assess for yourself and your friends if a game that I am talking about sounds like it would be a fun investment or just a worthwhile use of your evening. Plain and simple, I'm just a fan of board games. Yes. My hope is that maybe you have a friend who just can't see why they should invest an entire evening of their life into cardboard and rolling dice and good company around a table. And if you do have a friend like that, probably don't be friends with that person anymore. They sound awful, but maybe that's not an option and you do want to keep your friends or whatever. My hope is that maybe, maybe, you could watch a video like this with them and then you can sell them on this truly excellent and communal and human hobby. Because it's not the components inside of a board game that make them amazing. It's the people that you choose to share your board games with. There's a reason why this hobby is so popular in light of the fact that we have video games and television and movies. It's that the stories that can come out of board games are unique every single time based on you and your friends. And I just got way more emotional about board games than I intended to get while I was filming this stupid little video. So thanks. Ha, ah, back to the first angle. Bet you didn't see that coming. Or maybe you did. It's not a very long video. So if board games are your jam or you think that they could be, stick around. You may find something that you love. Or I could recommend something that you personally hate, at which point you can yell about it in the comments. No such thing as bad audience engagement, after all. And because we live in a technocratic hellscape, also make sure that you like and subscribe and all the other awful things that people ask you to do online, because otherwise how are we going to prevent ourselves from dying in obscurity in this horrible society that we've built for ourselves. Anyway, stick around for more stuff about board games. Bye! Thank you for making it to the end of this video. Subscribe for more of my weird and possibly ill-advised projects. If you aren't completely exhausted by the sound of my voice, check out either the short film that I made about cannibalism or the stand-up set posted above. Cheers.